SD1. Should you care? The reason I'm asking this is because the term is sometimes misused and some people might believe it's a cure-all pill for all their problems. You buy a few boxes, you install them on site and that's it. Everything is running as smooth as possible. But the reality is um, the technology might impact certain people differently than others. And here are a few questions that you should be asking yourself in order to understand if this is something that you should be exploring further. First of all, are you running a distributed environment? And by distributed, I mean, do you have multiple offices, maybe remote branches, um, a few big locations, etc. SD1 doesn't benefit as much customers with one or a few sites. Secondly, are you currently concerned by the quality of experience of your end users when they're using business critical applications? They might be using their on-prem ones or uh, you might be contemplating moving to the cloud, taking the benefit of that, right? Uh, moving to software as a service or infrastructure as a service. Um, is your network today prepared for that? Is the traditional way of backhauling all data to your headquarters and then breaking out there to the internet really the best way to support these things? Are you currently frustrated by the long lead times and how expensive the private circuits in your area are? Potentially, you might be looking at introducing cheaper and faster to install alternatives such as business broadband or LTE. Do you find it difficult to push policies to support the business? Do you find it that it's very hard to push new configurations on these boxes or even gain visibility in case something happens? Do you have the right tools uh, in case one of your branches has a failure in order to restore the service as soon as possible? Or even gain visibility on how users are actually using the internet service and uh, what you can do to secure that. Remember that the wide area network is not something that a lot of people think about. We think about the access point that we connect or the switch, but the real bottleneck is the wide area. It's not something that you can control completely. And in magnitude, it has less bandwidth than your local area. So a technology like SD1 will actually allow you to have the flexibility to choose different ways of transport and then support your business critical applications as they traverse between your offices or between your offices and the cloud service. So if you answered yes to any of the questions I just asked, um, please have a look at the other videos where I'm gonna be exploring more on how SD1 works, how it gets architected, uh, and obviously VMware's take on it. See you next time.